This is code.org, and we are going to investigate and modify. It looks like we're going to be changing up an array list. Uh, yep, run the experiment. So we got that. Observe the results. All right, so let me hit run and see what this does thus far. Get numbers two. It looks like we declare uh, numbers as an array list of a type integer data type, and then we add to it these values. Now, keep in mind, there's two ways to add to an array list. One, this would just append this item or smack this item on the end of our list. This tells it which index we want the this item at. So now 10 will be at index 0, 60, 1. And what this will do, guys, uh, 1 and 30, what this does is first 50 is at the front of the list, and then it gets pushed down. 10 is the first index or index 0, 50 is index 1, and then 60 is index uh, 2. And then we add at index 130, so then it would be 10. 30, 50, and 60. All right, what does it contain after add? So I'll do it right here, I guess. Control C, Control V. Oh, yep, and there it is. What's the purpose of the get method? Well, it looks like get is grabbing the... Oh, interesting. So they do it right here. Okay. So it looks like, let's actually, I want to print this here as well. So they do get to right here and they print it. Ah, so I want you to pay attention to this closely. The 40 through me, to be honest. So get to, this is going to be our index. And guys, once again, if you're ever stuck on stuff like this, go to documentation and it should be, yep. Here we go. And it can give you more of the details, right? Make sure to use your resources. So gets requesting that specific index, that value at it. Now set is changing the array. Let me print the whole array again. And notice what set has done. Set has killed off 50. As opposed to add, giving an index, when you set something, you're overwriting it. And try changing the set value. Sure. One. And we can change this get up to three. But uh anyways, cool. Uh what happens when you specify an index that is larger than the number in the list? Oh, that's gonna give me an error. Six. Oh no! Regardless, cool. I can't wait to see how we're gonna use this. Array lists are very powerful, and they're gonna enable us to build more complex, interesting programs. Onward.